Hey, hey guys, John here, and welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Welcome back, welcome back. Check this out. You know, earlier we were talking about the Armadillo tank and how there were alternate versions of the Armadillo. Well, it just so happens that just in the last week or so since that video came out, I have found the another version of the Armadillo from Sergeant Slaughter and his Marauders. We have the Marauder Armadillo with missile launching platform. Another variation on the Armadillo tank. Just in. I just got this thing and I am ecstatic. I'm so happy to have it. Missing one missile, so I need to track down a missile for it. But um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I've got Sergeant Slaughter here. This is the Sergeant Slaughter from the Sergeant Slaughter and the Triple T tank. I don't own the Triple T tank yet, but it is coming in the mail. I got a giant lot of vehicles coming in the mail soon, and Sergeant Slaughter's Triple T tank is in there with it. But somehow, like I've been saying, when I moved from Seattle to, or from New York to Seattle, uh, many, many years ago, we're nearing on like 27 years. Well, I was 23 when I moved, it was 2001. So 22 years ago or so almost, I lost a couple boxes during the move and the Triple T tank was in that in the boxes. But this Sergeant Slaughter is the Sergeant Slaughter I've had since I was a kid. So he made it. It's just his tank did not. And in addition to Sergeant Slaughter, since I do not own any of the Marauders yet, I got to get some of those Marauders. I got to get his Marauders. But in place of the Marauders today, we are going to look at Tunnel Rat, my brother's favorite figure. As you know, he always goes by Tunnel Rat online. And we have Low Light. Again, really cool action figure. And Lifeline, the medic. All right, let's take a closer look at all this cool stuff. So first off, I know you guys want to look at Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter here came with a baton. A military baton, his hat, cool sunglasses. It was awesome. This guy had a cool muscle shirt on, dog tags, camouflage pants, and some standard military boots. He was the drill sergeant to the G.I. Joe team. This guy was awesome. He's something else. Sergeant Slaughter is a living icon and uh, he was a famous wrestler during the days of Roddy Roddy Piper and Hulk Hogan and all those guys. And he just branched out to movies, TV, did cartoons. He voiced his own character in that show. It's not like they just used his Sergeant Slaughter and got someone else. No, they he actually voiced his character. And Sergeant Slaughter was in quite a lot of those shows. It was really, really cool. I remember being a kid and just being like, oh my gosh. Sergeant Slaughter. And also the fridge came out shortly after. The fridge from the Buffalo Bills. No, it was the Bears. Sorry, the Chicago Bears. The fridge. And uh, I really want to get the fridge. He's one of those. He's like top of my list as far as wants for G.I. Joe. And the fridge is just so freaking expensive. It's so difficult to get that character in a reasonable price. We got low light here. Low light is nearly complete. He should have a uh, stand for the gun that that attaches to that little loop there. But otherwise, I think this is all he came with was this long rifle and this giant backpack that makes him fall over. He doesn't stand up. I got to get more stands. <laughs> maybe maybe Lifeline will stand up on his own, and I won't need a a backpack for Lifeline. And, um, yeah, we can put the, or I won't need a stand for Lifeline. We can put him on the stand. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Because the same thing with um, Tunnel Rat here. Tunnel Rat has a gigantic gun, which didn't make any sense to us when we were kids because Tunnel Rat is climbing through tunnels. He should have a little shotgun or a pistol for running through tunnels. He comes with this cool little uh, ammo pouch kind of thing. 
which he holds around his arm there. And like we said, a giant gun with a huge scope, very similar to Lowlight's scope. Lowlight was the sniper of the group, but he also has this giant backpack for Tunnel Rat, and there's two flashlights that are supposed to go in these holes. Those little flashlights disappear all the time. It's so common for that to be missing. And of course, he's missing on my Tunnel Rat. And I did get my brother one of these because it's his favorite figure. And um, his Tunnel Rat is also missing those, those flashlights because you just can't get them. And you go to find those flashlights, it's like pop-up R2 lightsabers. They'll cost you at least $100 each. So to complete this figure, it probably cost me almost $200. <laughs> they're, they're insane. It's got to be one of the most expensive G.I. Joe pieces to get. Um, this figure carded. I, I'm not kidding. I have seen carded versions of Tunnel Rat. This version of Tunnel Rat. There's two or three versions of Tunnel Rat out there. But this is the first version of Tunnel Rat. And I have seen him sell for over $800 on card. It's unbelievable. Some G.I. Joe figures are incredibly expensive. and uh, But the figure in this condition, with this amount of equipment, not without the little things, 30 bucks. You know, it's it's loose. He's not that bad. It's, it's, it's not that bad to track him down. It's just those flashlights are always missing. We got... Lifeline here, the medic, the second medic, the first medic was called Doc. I don't own Doc. I did when I was a kid, but I don't own him right now. I really want Doc. But I've got Lifeline to hold us over. Lifeline is another interesting character. He had two different versions. One of them had this pouch on his leg. And I think the other version did not have that pouch. And one of them was a mail away, and the other one was the carded version. So the carded version, I think, is what this is with the white pouch. And if you got the mail away version, he will not have this pouch. It'll just be a red leg. Um, so I do want to find the other version of him. And he does have a gray pistol, which I do own. I came across it the other day. It's in my stash of weapons. But I've never put Lifeline with the pistol because it didn't make sense that it even came with one. Because in the show, Lifeline was a pacifist and didn't own... He didn't have any guns. He wouldn't use a gun. So it was weird to me that he came with a pistol because he was against gun violence. He didn't, he was sort of a pacifist. Sorry, I was moving him out of the screen, wasn't I? Uh, he's got a really cool backpack. He's got a um, gas mask here that plugs into the rescue thing. The rescue thing does open up. There are these two little attachments here and the thing can open up so that's pretty cool always loved it when the equipment they had like opened up and did things i thought that was really cool yeah lifeline is a great figure though i love this action figure he was so much fun and uh glad i got him cool all right the marauder armadillo has a Mar Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders, G.I. Joe on the side. The M12A1 tank. I don't know if that's really what this is, but it's a bunch of Cobras that he's killed on the side. <laughs> and then there's a, so this can pivot, turn around just like a standard Armadillo tank. There's spot on the back for two characters to stand up or one just in the center with one foot on each peg. However you want to do it. I think one makes more sense because he's sort of looking through the middle. If you got two, they're going to get hit with the missile blast, aren't they? Six missiles on this massive thing. And the uh, it's pretty cool because it can rotate through three different positions, as you can see here. It kind of clicks into position in each spot. And then you've got a very good way, you know, like the missiles are easy to grab and hang on to. And they just fly right out. So you've got six of those flying out. And like I said, I, I need one missile to make this thing complete. So um, 
we'll be looking for that. Standard wheels on the bottom for the fake treads. It's a little back heavy, but I mean, this thing is pretty cool. I'm really happy that I found one of these because the Marauder vehicles can be difficult to find these days. They were a little bit later on in the line and um, they're pretty cool and pretty unique versions of other vehicles. One of them is based on the uh, Mauler tank platform and the other one is based on the Wolverine platform with different weapons and attachments, just like this is based on the Armadillo platform, but it has different weapons and attachments to what the Armadillo had. So very cool vehicle, very happy to have this thing and uh, looking forward to getting more of Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders. I think that's something I really want to get into and track down because it's really cool. All right, guys, there you have it. Sergeant Slaughter, the Marauders Armadillo, Lifeline, uh, Low Light, and Tunnel Rat. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this one. And uh, these figures, I think it's pretty cool. Love these vehicles. And uh, yeah, when we get the um, the big lot of vehicles that are coming, we'll have to do a live stream and go through all those because uh, that's going to be pretty cool to look at what we got coming in the mail. Coming in the mail. So look forward to that soon. If it's not already up, look forward to it soon. I don't know how long it'll take for that stuff to get here. but All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm John. I'm out of here. Yo, Joe, and uh, make sure you keep working out, as Sergeant Slaughter would do. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys.